everyone i am back with another module which is fast food restaurant excel financial model currently we are on the table of content which, which includes input sheet revenue analysis startup summary monthly pnl yearly pnl cash flow statement balance sheet break even analysis sensitivity analysis diagnostic tools dashboard and project valuation so here uh, one thing i'll be pointing out is we have linked all the sheets which with their relevant sheets here i'm clicking on the input sheet so we are on the input sheet what does basically an input sheet includes it includes all the basic information which is required for the business just like assumptions investment input loan schedule we have uh, the assumptions we have uh, services uh, for the products we are offering we have monthly employment payroll capital expenditure departments and uh, uh, every little uh, information which is required for the business revenue analysis basically includes sales projection in sales projection we have maximum daily capacity capacity occupied uh, average customers per table and number of customers per day and number of uh, as we are uh, calculating the revenue on the monthly basis so that's why we have included the number of days in a month and we have multiplied number of customers per day with number of days in a month so we have total customer per month we have calculated revenue uh, of the services we are offering um, and we have same we have calculated cost of goods sold for the services we are offering uh, you can see we have linked our revenue uh, with uh, here with the percentage and uh, the price so if you we'll increase it the revenue would be increased you can see so i'll be putting it the same way so uh, same with the uh, cost of goods sold moving forward to the depreciation table depreciation table basically tells you how much an asset is depreciating over the time obviously if you're using an asset it will be depreciating over the time loan schedule basically tells you how much an asset is depreciating uh, how much repayment you need to do every month uh, we have calculated loan amount interest expense principal amount and remaining balance for the loans we have taken here we have taken three loans loan one loan two and loan three startup summary basically tells you the total uh, funding and total expenses and moreover it tells you how much investment your business is going to require and furthermore the cost is divided into two parts one is variable cost another is fixed cost monthly in, uh, income statement basically tells you the revenue cost of goods sold gross profit operating expenses EBITDA net income before taxes after taxes on the monthly basis in yearly PNL, we have revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, EBITDA, EBITDA margin on the yearly basis. Cash flow statement basically includes cash flow from operating activities, financing activities, and investing activities. Moreover, it tells you uh, whether the cash is generated from uh, operating activities, investing activities, or financing activity activities. Furthermore, it tells you the outflow and inflow of the cash, which is very important for the business. Balance sheet basically includes total assets and total liability. In total assets, we have current assets and fixed assets. And in total liability, we have non-current liability, current liability, and capital investment. Uh, moreover, balance sheet tells you the current stability of the company. Break-even analysis basically tells you the point at which you have earned enough to cover up all of your costs. Project evaluation basically tells you the NPV of the company, value of the company, where the company stands. Sensitivity analysis basically calculates revenue FCFF EBITDA present value of FCFF on the three scenarios uh, actual decreased and increased and we compare three of these. KPL and ratios basically helps you in the calculation. Diagnostic tools basically tells you whether your gross profit margin is reasonable or not, whether your expenses are reasonable or not. Dashboard is the visual representation of your business which helps you understand your business in a better way. That's it. I'm ending it here. Thank you for watching.